Hello everyone, my case study is on Norwick Adams versus H&H &H Meat Products, Inc. The plaintiff is H&H &H Meat Products, Inc. and the defendant is Norwick Adams. H&H &H Meat Products sued Adams alleging breach of contract. H&H &H Meat Products is a meat company that sells meat products to the U.S. franchise of Whataburger. Adams is employed and director general as well as a minor shareholder of the U Mexican franchise of Whataburger. Sometime in 1991 or 92, the CEO of H&H &H met with Adams to come up with procedures on how to ship their meat products to Whataburger, Mexico. They came to an agreement to use PAC, a third party agent who had a permit to ship meat to Mexico. H&H &H was to sell their meat products to PAC and PAC was to sell their products and ship to Adam. PAC was also to collect payment and pay H&H &H for the shipments. The case stems from unpaid shipments of meat that were delivered via Adam's instructions. H&H &H tried to collect from PAC. PAC then informed them that Adam had yet to pay them for the shipments. H&H &H tried to then collect directly from Adam's because Adam informed H&H &H that he would be personally responsible for any meat product that was shipped to Whataburger, Mexico. Adams refused to pay H&H &H for the meat. H&H &H sued Adams for a breach of contract. The outcome of the case was that the court ruled in favor of H&H &H Meat Products, Inc. They stated that there was legally and factually sufficient evidence to support that Adam did in fact order the meat products from H&H &H and directed the delivery of the products. There was also sufficient evidence that Adam did in fact had established a sworn account and had breached his contract with H&H &H meat products. It was an exception to the status of fraud. Adams was ordered to pay for the meat products and to pay for the court costs.